From 80s neon to 90s nostalgia. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 cheesiest British pop songs. Yeah, yeah. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've scoured British pop music history and selected the cheesiest records ever released. I think that you are lovely. All of today's entries enjoyed massive chart success, and many are regarded as prime pop hits, but a large chunk of their charm lies in just how kitsch and corny they are. Set your speakers to high. Number 10, I'm Too Sexy, Right Said Fred. I'm too sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my shirt, so sexy it hurts. We start with brothers Fred and Richard Fairbrass, and a song which was kept from the top of the charts only by the record-breaking and probably just as tacky Everything I Do by Brian Adams. I'm Too Sexy was originally penned as an indie rock track, with lyrics inspired by Fred and Richard's time as managers of a gym. I do my little turn. But what started as a playful joke as self-centered gym goers became an international hit. The record won an Ivan Novello award, but it has also featured on Alvin and the Chipmunks and the Smurfs. Need we say more? I am too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love. Love's going to leave me. Number nine, never gonna give you up, Rick Astley. We're no strangers to the 80s are a goldmine for gloriously cheesy anthems, but few will fill the dance floor quite as quickly as this one. Before it became an internet phenomenon, Never Gonna Give You Up was Rick Astley's debut single and the UK's best-selling record of 1987. It bagged the Brit Award for Best Single in 88 and ultimately topped the charts in over 20 countries. With lyrics that are seared into popular consciousness, whether you like it or not, it gets into your head and it stays there. Number 8, Pure and Simple, Hearsay. In a time before the X Factor or even Pop Idol, TV talent search pop stars had the nation hooked in 2001, and this was the end result. Kim, Mylene, Susan, Noel and Danny were eventually crowned winners of the show, forming Hearsay and scoring them fastest selling debut record in UK music history. But while I seen the best of buds in the music video, Hearsay's time in the sun was short lived and the band broke up after less than two years, leaving their signature tune to curdle into a classic. Number 7, Bring It All Back, S Club 7. As if Hearsay hadn't already got you feeling nostalgic, S Club 7 proved quite the pop supergroup when they debuted in the late 90s. Bring It All Back was the band's first single, but we might have included a host of other titles here, including their eternally upbeat fifth release, Reach. Bring It All Back also provided the theme tune for Miami 7, of course, the group's internationally successful CBBC show. Backed up by a sunny beach bar music video, it'll either have you singing along or pulling your hair out. Number 6, What I Go To School For, Busted. Another band who might have had multiple entries today, the busted back catalogue is crammed with corniness. But we've homed in on what I go to school for, the trio's take on a classroom crush. The song, which was based on one of Matt Willis's real life school teachers, peaked at number 3 in 2002, but has since become the seminal busted hit. Made even cheesier by Charlie Simpson's attempts to distance himself from it in the mid-2000s, it also gave opportunity to classic cringe TV on The Frank Skinner Show. Well, as they used to say on This Is Your Life, she's here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and there she is, look, over there. 
Hello. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> Number five, wake me up before you go go, wham. As possibly the definitive act for 80s pop music, wham are responsible for some of the era's catchiest tunes. Club Tropicana almost made it onto this list, but nothing says let your hair down like wake me up before you go go. A toe tapper, if ever we've heard one, the video saw George Michael and Andrew Ridgely sport a sensational 80s look with slogan shirts and lots of neon. A must have on playlists for weddings, anniversaries, and kids' parties. It's cheesy, but it's brilliant. Wake me up before you go, go Take me dancing tonight. Wake me up before you go, go. Number four, come on Eileen, Dexie's Midnight Runners. Released in the summer of 82, this record hit number one in the UK, the US, Australia, New Zealand, and all across Europe. While Dexie's Midnight Runners aren't especially remembered for anything else, Come On Eileen is still instantly recognisable, and so is the video. Featuring Dexie's frontman Kevin Rowland, the eponymous Eileen is played by Mare Farhi, whose sister was in Banana Rama, who are themselves responsible for some first rate cheese. But back to Dexie's, we reckon it's a good time to dust down those dungarees, because this is feel good music at its finest. Number three, Agadu, Black Lace. Like it or loathe it, no cheesy playlist is complete without it. Agadu annoyed its way to number two in the UK charts in 1984, but it was mercifully kept from top spot by George Michael's Careless Whisper. The novelty record caused such a ruckus with listeners that Radio 1 actually refused to play the track claiming it wasn't a credible song. But while general opinion hasn't particularly improved over time, Agadou still has its fans. <laughs> Thankfully, the Hawaiian shirt, highlights and tight leather look quickly fell out of fashion though. <laughs> Number two, back for good, take that. I guess now it's time. The 90s are a treasure trove of brilliant boy band records, with the US and Ireland contributing some classic love ballads. But Manchester's Take That ruled the romantic roost, and this was their intense, emotional, and impassioned high point. Back for Good is too loved up for some, but we're betting even its critics know the chorus word for word. Take a minute to appreciate that video. It's an effective blueprint for every boy band shoot ever since. All together now. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. It's true. But soon you will find that they come to time. Number one, the one and only Chesney Hawks. Chesney Hawks may be remembered as the archetypal one hit wonder, but what a hit it was. I'm not the same. The one and only spent five weeks at number one in 1991, enjoying much more success than the movie which it featured on the soundtrack to, Buddy's Song. With a catchy chorus, a shout-along hook, a floppy-haired frontman and Chesney's life-affirming lyrics, it promptly etched a unique spot in pop music folklore. Inspiring two music videos, including one with The Who's Roger Daltrey, 
nothing else comes close. Chesney is the champion of cheese. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.